The 2020 Atlantic hurricane season got off to a fast start. Beginning with Cristobal, each letter has seen their earliest name on record this year. With the active start in mind, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration has updated their forecast on what to expect for the rest of the season. Now, unfortunately, there is now an even higher potential for the season to be extremely active. Of those 19 to 25 expected systems, NOAA says it's likely that 7 to 11 of those will become hurricanes, of which 3 to 6 could escalate into major hurricanes, meaning Category 3, 4, or 5 on the Saffir-Simpson scale. The forecast considers large-scale weather patterns to make the outlook. These factors can either help or inhibit the development of tropical cyclones. This combination of enhancing conditions now in place, coupled with a potential La Nina, sets the stage for an extremely active season. Well-renowned forecasters at Colorado State University have also updated their hurricane season outlook, also calling for a well above average season. But when you get storms forming in the tropics in July, that it does tend to be a sign of a very active season. Regardless of the forecast, the real message is preparedness. This hurricane season is no different than any other in the sense that early planning is prepared to potential. These forecasts include the storms that have already happened, but do not include possible land impacts. So it's essential to learn your risk and have a plan in place. For Weather Nation, I'm meteorologist Carissa Kloss.